And now on the Ron Johnson Show, as promised, we have head coach Ben Johnson. Now, this is a guy that I actually was in school with. So baggy shorts, you know, <laughs> uh, baggy jerseys, T-shirt under the jerseys. So much has changed in college basketball. But Ben, I want to thank you for joining the Ron Johnson Show. And I'm going to just start off quick, man. Like, you grew up in the state of Minnesota. This is the state of hockey. But now this has become a basketball town in, in, in ebbs and flows. Like, it, it comes and goes. And uh, back when KG was here, it definitely was a basketball town. They had playoff runs. Um, they tried to get it back with, with Jimmy Butler. Didn't really work as well. Became a, a, a catastrophic uh, experiment. But now, back in the playoffs, tied 2-2 against the Memphis Grizzlies, heading into game five tonight. What do the Timberwolves have to do, Ben, as you, I mean, you're a player and a coach, to uh, close this game out tonight? Yeah, I think the, you know, the biggest thing is um, not lose what they did, you know, last game. I thought um, Cat was phenomenal with just his energy, um, you know, playing with that emotion the right way. Um, I thought they, uh, they did a really good job moving the ball, got everybody, multiple players, uh, involved offensively, um, you know, I think Ant-Man, you know, the, the, what he can do um, on both sides of the ball and what D'Lo can do, uh, especially offensively leading this charge um, along with Cat, you know, they come with their mind right. Uh, it should be a fun game. Yeah, and when you think about this series as a whole and you look at, like you said, Cat having a great game, Anthony Edwards, um, you know, when you look at these two stars, so for your younger guys, your high school kids, you know, do these guys have the same impact that KG had on you? You know, I, th I think probably Ant-Man does for sure. Um, he's got like that star power. Um, I think if you remember, you know, when KG got drafted uh, out of high school, he just had like a presence about him. He had just like star power, star quality. And, um, you know, nothing to take any away from Cat. I mean, obviously, you know, an all-star and a very good player. But you look at Ant-Man, just his charisma, how he is in interviews off the floor. He's engaging. He kind of connects people. He's got, like, that youthful innocence right now and just the, the unreal talent. I mean, you know, what he can do athletically at the rim, very few uh, in this league can do it. And so I think because of that, he's just got, like, that star star power that KG had and that kind of unique talent that you just don't see that that too often. Yeah, man, let's switch gears. Looking at college basketball now, your your sport, your your baby now. You guys had one of the biggest transfer signings in go for basketball here uh, history as far as transfers go, of course. Uh I think one of the last big recruits of this magnitude would have been uh Chris Humphreys, I think is what they're saying. Um I go back to I mean I'm definitely was a fan of Ashawn Leonard. He's from Detroit. But looking at Dawson Garcia, how big of a signing was that? One, he's coming home, but two, getting other D1 Minnesota, Howard Pulley, all these other kids that see a kid like Dawson come home and most likely in my opinion going to have success. What, what does that do for the program going forward? I think it's huge. I think, you know, anytime you can get, um, you know, a national name, and I think Dawson's a national name for a lot of reasons. You know, out of high school, um, he was a consensus, you know, top 50 player. Um, and, and you play at Marquette and you play at North Carolina, which are two really good distinguished programs. Um, you know, that, that helps in recruiting in terms of good players want to play with good players. And, and they want to have confidence to know that when they go to a team or a situation, uh, they're not going to be the only ones. And I think um, talent-wise, he's going to bring a lot to the table. Recognition, he's going to bring a lot to the table. And, you know, he's excited. And I think that's the, the cool part about it is he's genuinely, you know, super pumped um, to be back home and um, to kind of, you know, I'm juggling with the kind of right or wrong, you know. Um, and so we're, we're excited <laughs> to have him. And he's going to go along with, you know, we got to cut, you know, some other good local guys with the, with the players that we signed that I think are, are vastly underrated. Um, you know, to get Mr. Basketball out of Minnesota and, uh, mm -hmm. and Braden Carrington, you know, to get a Josh Ola Joseph, who's a Big Ten athlete, um, to get a Pharrell Payne, who, you know, I think, you know, he, he's not Chris Webber, but he reminds me of Chris Webber, just the way he's physically built as a true yeah. freshman and his measurements and athleticism. And I think sky's the, the limit for that kid. Um, and then you have, you know, a Parker Fox on our team, who's a D2 All-American, who's from here. Yep. You've got Jameis Battle, um, who's yep. from here, who... You know, if, if guys leave the Big Ten like I think they would, he'll be the Big Ten leading scorer next year. Um, and so I think it just shows that, you know, you're trying to grow it with the right type of talent. Um, you know, it happened to be 
a, a, a band of in-state guys right now. But, you know, we want to use that momentum to, to not only get in-state kids, but recruit nationally at a high level. Yeah, and I've seen Dawson Garcia play in high school. I've seen, I mean, I've actually seen him since he was in the fifth grade, I think, at Prior Lake, because uh, he played against Drake Dobbs, who's now at St. Thomas, who went to Eden Prairie. And Eden Prairie and Prior Lake had tons of battles. Uh, Dawson, in my opinion, is one of the most dominant players I've seen play the game. Um, you know, I think he was underutilized in high school just because he is a team first guy. He is a nice kid. Um, I noticed that in AAU right away, playing with Kendall Brown and and, and Courtney Brown and Drake Dobbs. Um, you know, Dawson's a, a team player. Uh, do you see yourself, you know, you just named all those guys from Minnesota, ever trying an all Minnesota lineup at one time just to, to play around with it? Uh, one, for the fans, because we know about the Fab Five, and I loved it, but seeing what kind of chemistry an all-Minnesota lineup could get you. Yeah, I think, you know, we're, we're going to do whatever we got to do to put the best team on the floor. And, um, you know, if it happens to be all-Minnesota guys, it's all-Minnesota guys. If we sprinkle in a, a player from out of state, we sprinkle in a player from, from out of state. I think, um, you know, it's our job as a coaching staff uh, to assemble the, the best team we possibly can that fits what we're trying to do. And thankfully... Uh, we do have a lot of really good local talent. We have really mm -hmm. good high school coaches. We have really good AAU programs. Uh, the kids here develop. They grow up um, understanding how to play. And now it's our job to, to, to have a product so that when kids are younger, they view us as kind of a destination spot. And they view yeah. us as kind of kids did when I grew up. To your sake, you know, I watched Bashan Leonard. You know, I watched Townsend or Willie Burton, Richard Coffey, yep. Kevin Lynch, oh, yeah. you know, all those guys. And so... Um, you know, we want to get it to a point where people here and nationally look at Minnesota as a as a destination in a, in a top half Big Ten type program. Um, and again, you know, if you can keep the in-state talent at home, that's always the easiest as far as just how to get players to 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 come to your place and recruit. Um, it's a lot it's a lot easier to get them when they're 20 minutes away than have to fly on a, or hop on a plane. Um, but at the yeah. same time, there's a ton of talent you know, across the country. And, um, you know, we're going to do what we can to, to, to attract the best that we can. No, for sure. And I know Dawson Garcia can play the one if he has to bring it up the court. I know he can play the two. Parker Fox, you got Jamison Battle. So when you go with that all-Minnesota lineup, just for, even if it's against like North Dakota or somebody like that, make sure you tweet me the starting tip-off because I called. I think those guys can put 30 up on somebody quick, get some energy in the building. But, you know, we'll move on from that. Ben, looking at what you've done with this program. I was blessed enough, you know, the Gophers football program this weekend and softball hosted myself my, and my family was in town. Uh, my daughter, uh, you know, she was able to check out the facility, being only 11, but um, she was able to check out the facility, see football, see basketball. They got to go on the basketball court. Um, you guys have done some amazing things. I went to school here. You went to school here. So you know how amazing it is. Uh, but explain the why. Like we saw that, you know, I'm not going to say where it's at, but we saw it, the whys, the players' handwritten whys. Why is that so important? Well, I appreciate that. Um, you know, I think when, when in times of doubt, and we talk about dealing with adversity all the time because it's, it's going to come every single day and it's going to come every single game. Um, you got to rely on, um, you know, who you are as a, as a person. You got to rely on, you know, core values. But to push through, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of that extra motivation or the days you don't feel like working out, you just need that reminder of why you're doing it. Um, Cause as you know, to, to be good and successful at any level in sports, you, you've gotta, you've gotta be able to, to do it on days you don't got it. And you gotta find mm -hmm. an inner resolve to, to push through. Um, it's easy when it's easy. And, and if you wanna be great and, and you wanna do things that we wanna do, you know, every day you can't lose an opportunity to get better. And so I just put it on the door uh, leading out to the gym because I just wanted guys when, when, when they are struggling or when they feel a little bit sore, a little bit tired, or there is mm -hmm. adversity um, or they have a little doubt in their mind of, of, you know, here's why you're doing it. And maybe that quick reminder, that quick hit um, can get them that motivation or that juice or that energy to, to kind of block out the negativity and to push forward and continue to get better. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, I want them to have goals too. And I want their goals to, to be meaningful to them and something special to them. And um, it's just a quick reminder that I think sometimes we all need, um, you know, to get us to get us going. 